Kanye West has one of the best discographies in all of hip-hop, but he might be just as well known for his unreleased work rather than what he's put out to the public. Album after album filled with grails and new ideas that have just never seen the light of day. Ye's creative process is certainly a roller coaster. One day you have Yandi, and then the next there's no more Yandi. But there's one scrapped album that went through multiple different phases, almost released twice, and is one of the most sought after Yeezy grails of all time. Good ass job. Two album iterations, a decade apart, this is the story of Kanye's first lost album. So we all know about the Dropout Trilogy, arguably one of the greatest trilogies not only in hip hop, but in music. But it was actually supposed to be a four part series, the college dropout, late registration, graduation, and good ass job. Obviously Kanye delivered on the first three, and he was supposed to drop good ass job right after graduation, but circumstances changed. Kanye went through the tumultuous experience of losing his mother and the breakup with his fiance, so he pivoted and we got 808s and heartbreak. But after 808s, the plan for the quadrilogy was back on. Good ass job would be next. There's actually some songs and demos from this era that do exist, including the auto-tune track Throw Money Everywhere. But as quickly as it was brought back, Good Ass Job would once again fade into the background as Kanye would announce via Twitter that the name was scrapped and the project would eventually morph into what we know as My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. And for the next eight years, Good Ass Job would just be a what if in Kanye's extensive catalog. Then the magical year of 2018 happened, which kind of served as Kanye's creative renaissance of sorts. Yeezy announced that he would release and produce five separate albums with the highlights including his own album Ye, Kid See Ghost with Kid Cudi, and executive producing albums for Pusha T and Nas. Each album would come with seven tracks, making for a concise and memorable listen, quality over quantity. In September of that year, Kanye made a surprise appearance at a Chance the Rapper event to make this special announcement. Me and Chance work on a new album. It's called Good Ass Job. This project was announced around the same time Yandi was supposed to come out, so Kanye had a busy schedule of making albums he'd never actually release. Only a couple songs have surfaced from this era, and most have been reference tracks, so we don't know a whole lot about the direction of this project, but from what we've heard, it seems like this album was sort of an uplifting and positive vibe, so I'd imagine that's the direction Kanye and Chance were going with. And that's all we got for Good Ass Job. We never got a cover or release date. It just kind of faded into the background again. I think after the release of Jesus is King, people just kind of assume that this project was scrapped. Then a couple years later, we definitely knew it was scrapped when Chance went to see Kanye during the Donda sessions and this happened. It's been two decades since the idea of Good Ass Job came to surface when Kanye was mapping out his Dropout series. Going through two iterations, the album has morphed and changed more times than Kanye's opinion on Drake. You know, everybody is very, very excited about the elimination of Drake. This one for Drake. Good Ass Job has become more of an idea rather than a reality. In my eyes, it seems like a vision of the old Kanye as this album was meant for the Dropout series, but seeing all the twists and turns Kanye has made musically since Good Ass Job's second announcement in 2018, it seems like this album, whatever form it was left in, will never see the light of day. I don't even know if Chance and Kanye are even going to work together again, let alone drop an entire collab album. Good Ass Job at this point just feels like it's reached mythical status for me. If you managed to stick around this far, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me and I appreciate any support from you all, no matter how small. Anytime one of you leaves a comment, I always at least look at it and I try to respond to most of them. The support recently has just been crazy to me. Just a month ago, I was at 630 subscribers. I know 1600 isn't a lot, but it feels like a lot to me. 
If you'd like, you can follow me on Twitter using the link in my description. I'm pretty active there if you want to reach out. And I got a special video cooking up too. I actually got one of my friends to help me with this one. It's going to be a great one. So make sure you stick around for that one. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the flip side. Thank you.